I feel like it has been ages since I have done a full day of eating slash day in the life slash I really don't know. Today I figured it was going to be kind of an interesting day, so I wanted to bring y'all along with me. Starting for the next couple of days, I'm just going to be kind of a crazy mess, and so I thought it would just be fun to document these days as they go. As y'all just saw, I am starting off my morning with a bulletproof coffee, and to be completely honest, it is... 11.35. I rolled out of bed at about 11 o'clock today, but that's solely my fault because I stayed up till 3 a.m. organizing all the clothes I brought home from college with me because I couldn't walk in my room because I had bags everywhere. So, I've got my coffee. I'm going to sip on this, and then I think I'm just going to go to the gym and from there, I need to go run a couple of errands. And then tonight, I am driving out to Galveston Beach to go hang out with my friends. So, I will probably bring you along with me. And I really don't know where this day is going to go. But I hope you enjoy. My little kittens are so grown up now. He just jumped over the fence. They used to not be able to leave the backyard. And now, they're roaming kitties. He's not very happy with me. Not happy with me. Look, they match. They're both the same color. And there's a Cleo, and a bow, and a... F Look, there is another cat. What are you doing? That's not our house. Come here. Ooh. I got me and my cute little Odie. Little Odie. These cats are crazy. All right, I've got to go get my day started because I was lazy and slept in. Let's get to it. because I am opening a P.O. box. I'm so excited because I have a lot of people who are like, I want to write you a letter and I absolutely love letters. I want to be able to reply to some of y'all. So I'm opening up a P.O. box and I will let y'all know that address whenever I get it. Got to mail a package. I need to go to Specs to get me some vodka. We're going to have a little talk about vodka and keto in a little while. And I also need to go to the gym. So, I've got a busy little few hours that I need to go accomplish so I can go out to the beach. Where I live, there's always trains that legitimately just stop on the railroad track. So, long way it is. <music> guys I finally got myself a P.O. box so I'm going to put it on the screen and down below I just think that it's such a wonderful way of communication to like write letters we're in today's technology laden society no one writes letters anymore and I absolutely love to write letters and I love that People sometimes want to take the time out of their day to send me a letter. So, I now have a P.O. box if anyone wants to send me mail. I am about to head into the gym. It is 1.30. And I am sipping on my Mansports Iso Aminos that y'all saw me mix up earlier in the Dorks flavor. I absolutely love this flavor. I like look forward to working out because I can drink these. But... 
I haven't worked out in like five or six days. Finals, I chose to study instead of work out. So, it's been a while. I'm going to hurt. I haven't eaten. It's 1.30. That was a terrible mistake. But, oh well. Guess I'm training fasted. Oh well. I finished up my workout. I did about an hour long workout. And I did biceps, triceps, a little bit of abs, and some back. I was just trying to ease myself into the gym once again. Because after five days off, your body hates you pretty much. I'm about to walk into Specs, and I am going to get me some alcohol to drink tonight. I very, very rarely drink alcohol, especially for a 22 year old who's in college. I've probably drank maybe once or twice since August. I don't know. I don't live on the edge very much. But I wanted to talk about why I choose vodka. So, in keto, you can drink but you need to be very aware of the calories and carbs that are in the different types of alcohol. The main point though is if your body is metabolizing alcohol, it's not going to metabolize fat at the same time. So if you do drink, you're probably stalling your progress for a little while, but as long as it's not a habitual habit in my opinion, sometimes you just gotta loosen up and have a little fun. I choose vodka because it's only about 65 calories for an ounce of vodka. So I mix it with plain water and either add crystal light or lemon or lime wedges in my drink. You have to be very aware of what the mixers are, anything, because a lot of them have carbs. If you ever get a drink and they add cherry juice, that's all sugar. So, I choose to go very, very simple when I drink. Vodka, water, and ice. It's about as plain and simple as you can get. And sometimes I like to sip on a drink. And that is my choosing. shop and I grabbed me one of these oh yeah protein shakes it has um, three net carbs in it and I grabbed this because it's three o'clock and I have not had any food today I stopped by there and I am actually doing a demo for man sports here at this vitamin shop tomorrow from four to seven so that'll be fun and so I was like hey get it get super hyped like I'll be back tomorrow looking a little bit better than I do now but so it's three o'clock I gotta go home make myself look presentable and then I have an hour's drive out to the beach here in just a little while totally 100% forgot that I had a rental textbook due so I am now running back to the madness of Garth Road here in Baytown Texas to go return this package it's gonna suck my package dropped off of course it's this nasty misty freaking rain out here it's the worst kind of rain just rain or don't rain at all don't mist I don't like it but I'm about to run into Jimmy John's and get me and my mom and my dad a unwitch sandwich our favorite is the Italian so let me go grab those <laughs> When you get home and there's a chicken in the driveway. What do you think you're doing, lady? What do you think you're doing? Just chilling out in the driveway? She's okay. That's why I left the garage open. You crazy? This is one of the Italian clubs from Jimmy John's. It has like ham and salami, something else, and hot peppers and onions and mayo. So, 
this is what I'm going to eat real quick before I get dressed. And we get it, you ask for an unwitch and they wrap it in lettuce instead of bread. And I got all my beggars. Hi, Bo. My mom's being a little mom and wanting me to bring some queso to the party tonight down at the beach house. So I'm running up to Walgreens real quick to grab some cheese and chips so that people will have something to snack on because Lord only knows we're a bunch of college students going to a beach house. Okay, these cats are plenty old enough to stop nursing and she still lets them freaking nurse. She's been fixed. I don't think she can't be making any milk. Why do you let them suckle still? I mean, they're like three months old. Got the little crew in my bed. Crazy kitties. Bye puppies, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. It is now about 5.15. I have about an hour's long drive out to Galveston where my friend's beach house is. And it should be a relatively fun, interesting night. I got some clothes. My mom was oh so kind and made us some queso. Let me show you. It's so good. And for those of y'all who aren't from Texas, queso is cheese dip. But we do it real big here in Texas. So we got some sausage, rotel, cheese. It is legitimately so good. I think I'm going to grab some pork rinds on my way down there so that I can partake in the cheese dip.